Steve with Texas Know How. Uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to be working on this 2008 uh, Dodge Ram 1500. It's a 5.7 liter V8 engine. It's a beast and that's why I call it the beast. And we're going to be changing out the starter. It is uh, about 115k in and I'm feeling like it's kind of like lagging on that start. So we're going to go ahead and take out the uh, the original one and replace it with, uh, with the uh, um, an aftermarket one and let's take care of it. This is something that you can do, save hundreds of dollars doing it yourself. It's just a matter of a few bolts and going underneath the engine and uh, taking care of business. I'm not gonna take off my DO shirt for this one because Ronnie James would have went on it that way. All right, well, here's the beast. What we're gonna do now is first we need to go ahead and uh, disconnect the battery since we're gonna be working with the starter as part of the electrical system. Uh, we have a positive on the right here for me, negative on the left we want to disconnect the negative first okay i've seen videos where people talk about disconnecting the positive first and that is a big no-no you want to do the negative first because that's what's grounded to your chassis and if you were to take the positive off first and touch your wrench somewhere you could short out the whole system okay so let's take off the negative first so let's go ahead and for me this is going to be a 10 millimeter bolt you don't need to take this bolt off uh i'm sorry 10 millimeter socket you don't need to take this bolt off completely just enough where it's loose okay and there you go you don't want it to touch back on there so um what we're going to do is i'm going to take this little pad here i got these little corrosive pads and i'm just going to kind of just just get the jimmy in there so we don't have contact in fact i'll be right back now um oh do we want to take off the positive we don't have to am i going to um, no. Well, what the heck. Let's do it. Not completely necessary. Uh, but you know what? Let's just be thorough. Okay. There we go. There you go. There's, there's that one. Alright, so everything's disconnected. I'm about to reset all my uh, radio stations now. Yay. Just throw some guarding gloves over the terminals. Get these over here so that there's no pop-up or any problems here okay safe than sorry one little thing took me two seconds to do and I'm feeling better about it already right here is my driver's side uh, wheel okay so I'm underneath the truck driver's side wheel I'm gonna pan over you see my shock system there I'm gonna keep on going past my shocks and right up here you're gonna see the starter Okay, so I'm going to bring my finger down. So here's my starter right here. I'm going to bring my finger down so you can see where we're at. And I'm going to come over my shocks and my tire. Okay, so there you go. So when you get underneath here, you're going to go over here and you're going to look for your starter right there. Then you're going to grab yourself a 15 millimeter wrench with an extension. And then you're going to get the two bolts right here. Okay, so. Let me get this camera better. I'm doing this solo here. Okay, so you're going to have a bolt right here. And then you're going to have another bolt right there. Okay, so you're going to have two bolts. Now, you're going to have things that you're going to have to unconnect right here. Some people unconnect them first. Uh, what it's, gonna, it's hard for me to get to and see what I'm doing there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down first. And then I'm going to connect it when it's closer to my face. Um, but I don't want to be careful because it is hanging by some terminals and uh, some wires and stuff So I don't want anything um, loosening up because I, I, it's hanging so I'm going to hold it in place and um, um, Manipulate it the way I, I want to. I'm going to control it. I'm not going to let it control me Okay, let's get those bolts off Okay, for this bottom bolt the extension was too long and I was losing leverage on it I didn't want to strip anything so I took, I I took the extension off so let's just get it now there we go much better so on the bottom bolt unless you got a big ratchet head I wouldn't suggest getting the um, an extension on that part okay so there we go we're loosening this baby up okay I want to take it all the way off though okay just just enough let's see what we're gonna do here on this top one since we got this all right and you know what we're gonna go ahead and crack this baby open just like this too okay so I'm not gonna need extension there either there. Okay. Okay, this is going to have like a shorter clearance. So, 
after a couple of times, you want to just maybe untie it by hand. Let's see if we can get it by the hand. No, that's not going to work. All right. So you don't need to see me doing this. You get the picture. I'm going to get this as loose as I can so I can get it with my fingertips. Oh, there we go. Let's... All right, I got that top bolt off. I'm holding it right here. I still got that bottom one. I got to take halfway out to remove this whole piece. Uh, this is when a, a um, uh, like an impact ratchet would come in handy, right? Because I had to go many, many turns. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this one off. But I want to come back. I want to tell you, I'm holding the starter here. It is a heavy one all right and you don't want that coming down and crashing on your head or something so i'm gonna hold this take the other screw out and uh there's a, there's also a, a a a cable holder right here okay so just uh just remember that uh, that's that's just gonna hang down just a little bit that's no big deal all right okay so i got that screw off on the bottom remember the top is already done here's a screw off on the bottom so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna control this right here so you can see me do this Okay, you see how it's connected right here too. Okay, we disconnected the um, we disconnected the battery. But remember, the, who knows if there's a charge in here? Do I know? No. Um, if there's any stored electricity in here still, I don't want to find out. So just be careful where you're sticking your your tools. Okay, I'm gonna uh, disconnect it from right here on this back side, and uh, we're gonna get a better look at it in a second. I'm gonna prop this thing up with a bunch of cord. Okay, so I wanted to get a quick shot of what this looks like on the other end. So um, I crawled up the front on the front side of the truck, and we're looking into where the gears are. And this is where the end of your starter goes into. If you look right here, I know it's kind of hard to see because of the lighting, but there's a there's a gear um, gear rail right there, and that's what the starter spins when it goes in, okay? And then this end right here, your starter, let's see if I can pull this over a little bit, is gonna go in there. And as you can see, there's some teeth there too, right? So those teeth match up to the teeth on the on the gear here. And when you turn on the ignition and, and, and run it over, uh, the starter is gonna spin that, okay? Um, you might wanna clean the housing a little bit right here. I got some, uh, some throttle cleaner and just kinda cleaned up the housing a little bit. Because um, this, you know, of course, hopefully this is the only time you have to do this in a lifetime of your truck. So, uh, you know, um, you want to get nice and clean up there. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the starter from the old starter, and we're going to connect the new one. Okay, I changed my socket out to a 13 millimeter. We're going to go ahead and get the, uh, the nut on. You want to squeeze down on the underside and the top side. More pressure on the other si underside. And then just pull that baby off, okay? It's like a locking clip right there. All right, so now that's off. That wire can hang now. You don't have to worry about it. Any uh, um, uh, weight bringing it down. And then now our starter is completely removed. All right, so here's a better look at that starter. I'm looking at it, and it is the original starter. I bought this truck used, so I wasn't sure if it was ever changed out, but it is the original one. You can see right there. And here's a new one. It's a DD electrical starter. I uh, got pretty decent reviews on Amazon. The price was was fantastic. It was just fifty six bucks. And uh, let's get a closer look at this beauty. Mmm, mmm. Look at that. Mmm, mm. yeah. All right. Looks good. Okay. So I'm not sure if it's gonna last as long as the original, but uh, we're gonna give it a try. And if it happens to die out, then you know what? These are pretty easy to replace. Okay. So before I put the new one on, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and clean this terminal off. Uh, I got a wire brush. And I'm gonna. Uh, gently just kind of scrape off the ends on both sides for it to ensure good contact. Um, there's a little bit of uh, road debris and dirt and grease on here, so I'm gonna clean off that terminal and I'm gonna um, and I'll be right back. All right, before I reinstall, I'm gonna go and spray down these bolts with a little light lithium grease. Um, you decide if you want to do that. I do it. Um, you know, they, they show wear. These ends are exposed. On the um, on the other side of the starter, so um, I feel like it's a pretty good idea. Okay, now that the terminal is nice and clean, I scrubbed it down uh, with this uh, this wire brush. I got both sides of it. I'm just doing this for illustration purposes. I already did it. Uh, you know, wipe it down, any shavings down. Um, we have that connector. I'm gonna use a little uh, dielectric grease on it on that connector. I always go on the female end, right there. Okay, just across there. So if any moisture gets in there, nothing's going to be, uh, that's going to help with the corrosive properties. 
All right, now it's time to get the, uh, the starter in. Let me show you what we're going to do, how we're going to orient it. Remember, big bottom side on down, okay? The big bottom side down. Just think of it being heavier. So it's falling faster. Um, right here, remember, there's those gears that are inside there that you need to match up the gears here. So big bottom side down. You're going to gently kind of just shimmy it in there, right? We haven't connected anything yet. I'm going to connect the... Connect it later, and then we're gonna get our two screws in. Okay, so let's get our screws in. Get this thing in place. We don't need to tighten anything down or torque anything down at this point. Okay, just want to stop for a second and show you what I'm doing here. Okay, so I got the two screws in. Remember, the bolts go in from this end towards the screw end of the uh, starter. Okay, don't start start on the scar side because there's no threading going on in here in this housing. So make sure you're going in um, like the bolts facing towards the engine block, okay? Don't forget also that you have to reattach this um, bracket right here that holds on this line. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the wrench and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna fasten this down a little bit better. Okay, so I got those two nuts in there nice and snug. It says to uh, go ahead and torque it down to 18 foot-pounds. I got the, uh, the torque wrench set up and we're just gonna get this baby. 18 foot pounds. There it is, right there. And let me get the top. I think one more, I'm gonna do it. Did I say one more? I meant two. Let's try three. Very little clearance on there. There we go. All right, I heard it click. All right, so now it's time to get this terminal on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna go up to the top where the solenoid is, see if you can see that, there we go. And I'm gonna put it over there, okay? And I don't wanna put on the little wire yet because I want the clearance here to see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna put on a washer on the little solenoid post. Sorry for the filming, I'm doing this solo and it's sometimes a little challenging in these areas. And then I got my nut, okay? So I got the post on. I mean, I'm sorry, I got, okay, the terminal on the post, then the washer, then the nut, and then I'm gonna just tighten it down up here, okay? There we go, so I'm gonna hand screw it. Okay, and then I need to torque this down to 16 foot pounds, so I'm gonna need both hands for that, so I'm gonna come right back. Okay, so for this one, I had to get a longer 13 millimeter socket to make the clearance. Um, and I couldn't get my torque wrench up there, so I'm just hand tightening it just by feel. And it's supposed to be 16 foot pounds, so if you have a smaller torque wrench um, that can handle tighter, tighter areas, go for it. I'm just hand tightening it, but it's 16 foot pounds for your reference. All right, so let me go ahead and take that off. Okay, now it's time to get our wire on the terminal. If you notice here, there's a like a indentation going in right there. That's gonna be on the inside of the starter. Okay, not on the outside, on the inside. So you're just gonna take that. Remember I put that little deal, di dielectric grease on there. I'm just gonna go in and you're gonna go in all the way until it kind of clicks. Okay, there's gonna be some of the terminal exposed like it was on the uh, OEM. That's fine, but you want to give a little tug up to make sure that it locked in place because there's a little locking clip on the inside. That feels good and nice and tight. So we should be just about done. We just need to uh, just connect that tap, connect the battery up, and let's see if it works. Okay, now that we have everything hooked up with the starter down below, we'll come back up to the top side, and we want to go ahead and hook up the battery. Okay, so we want to do positive terminal first. Okay, we need to clean off some of these terminals here. Speaking of terminals, all right. So positive. So this is going to be our positive side. All right. We got a, a red X. Okay. And so we want to go ahead and pop this baby on. Okay. And we're going to tighten that down. Okay. So with this one, you want to get it nice and tight and snug. You don't want to over tighten it. 
uh, but you don't want to under tighten. I find that sweet spot. There it is for me, right there. Okay, you just get kind of the feel for it. And then put a cap back on. Now we're going to go over to the negative side. Okay, we're going to connect the negative terminal. Tighten this off a little bit first. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to put that, um, that patch back on, that anti corrosive patch. A little greasy. Alright. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and put the negative terminal on. It might make a little spark, but if it does, that's just a spark of success. Okay, that went bad. Okay, push that down. Okay, it should, should, in most cases, you should see just a little lip of the battery coming up and over. Okay, so let's go ahead and tighten this baby up. Remember, not super, super tight where you're strangulating it, but not real loose, right in the middle of the sweet spot. Okay, there you go. You need a torque on that and look it up. Okay, there we go. So we got our negative hooked up and then um, and we have a positive hooked up first and then our negative. Okay, that's how you want to do it. Remember when you take it off, you always want to take off the negative first and then the positive and then put the positive on the negative. Okay, so basically, um, uh, don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Okay, if you've got daughters, let them know that too. Okay, that can save them from like something exploding in their face. Um, you know, don't let don't, don't let their Yahoo boyfriends tell them it's the other way around. Okay, because I've heard a lot of Yahoo say take this one off first, and that's a no no. It's always negative first. Okay, and then when reinstalling, make sure you let them know that it's positive first and then negative. Okay, here we are. You're with me right now as we start this for the first time. Got everything hooked up. Let's just see what this baby does. Perfect. Look at that. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Well, there's something to be said for doing the work yourself. And I know that we saved at least a couple hundred dollars on our end by me doing this. And it only took me 30 minutes. The part didn't cost that much. And if it doesn't last that long, or as long as the original, then that's fine. You can see that um, I can find them for a good deal. And it won't take me but, um, you know, half of an hour to take care of the business on there. The hardest part really was filming this. So hopefully you got some information out of it. I kept my shirt clean. And then Egypt song by Dio he said the chains are on well in this case the chains are off why because we freed ourselves of high mechanic prices Steve with Texas know-how hopefully you found this informative give me a thumbs up I'll talk to you later